Okay, use substitution. You'll get problems that look like this, where you have this to a power, something to a power, something complicated, something else, and you're going, well, how am I supposed to take the derivative of all that? Well, what happens is this in here we replace with a u. So it becomes u to the third. So u is equal to this. If you take the derivative of that, it becomes that. 2x plus 6 dx. The derivative of u is this. Well, that matches that. If it matches, then that's u du. Okay? So we're going to integrate. We're going to integrate u cubed du. So integrating it is. Integrating it is. U to the fourth. With what in front? One fourth plus c. So it's going to be one fourth times x squared plus 6x to the fourth power plus c. And that is our answer. Okay. So looking at this, what is your u? This part or the second part? The second one because that's the one to the power. So u equals 6x cubed plus 3x. What is du then? 18x squared plus 3 dx, which is this part and this part. So you get the integral of u to the 6th du, which is 1 7th u to the 7th plus c. Well, you stick u back in for that. Oh, it, okay. I didn't have to go that far. It just wonders, what is u? Well, u is just this right here. Sorry, I was going way too far. But that's how you integrate it. Okay. Again, they ask, what is u on this one? Which one of these two would be u? The stuff inside the square root. Because this is x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared to the one half power. So if this is u, then du would be 4x cubed minus 9x squared plus 16x, which is that part. So this part right there is u. Okay, you don't put a square root around it. Oh, not that one. Not that one. This one. Okay. All right. All right. What's u right here? u equals the ln of x. What's the first derivative of the ln of x? 1 over x dx. So how this works is this is the integral of u squared because then it's the ln of x squared times 1 over x dx, right? So that's the integral of u squared du. Well, the integral of u squared is one-third u cubed plus c. So it's one-third the ln of x cubed plus c. One-third the ln of x cubed plus c would be that one. Okay. No multiple choice on this one. What is u on this one? You would say e to the 2x, but it's actually not. u is 2x. So then what is du? What's the first derivative of 2x? 2dx. Okay. Do you see a 2dx here? No. So this is the integral of e to the 2x, and we need a 2dx in there. So we need a 2dx. If I put a 2 in here, I need to multiply the outside by one half. So then this becomes one half the integral of e to the u du. 
So if I integrate e to the u du, what's the integral of e to the u? e to the u. So it's 1 half e to the u plus c. Well, what's e to the u? 2x. So it's 1 half e to the 2x plus c. Because if you think about it, if you took the derivative of this, the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times the first derivative of that, which is 2. So, and that 2 would counteract the 1 half to get you back to here again. Sorry, you paying attention to this? All right, because that was a little different. want to make sure you're catching all this. All right. This one, what do you think that one u is? Bottom. Okay. So if u equals 1 plus e to the 2x, what's the first derivative of that? e to the 2x times 2. Now, does that match a top? No. So it is actually a little different. Now, remember that over there. Inverse tangent function. Where it's du over 1 plus u squared. Okay, we're back to that. Because this is the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the x squared where u equals e to the x, du equals e to the x, okay? So you have du over 1 plus u squared. So that is, that matches the tangent one, so it's the inverse tangent of u, inverse tangent of e to the x plus c. So you need to know those. And when it comes to the AP test, you actually have to memorize those three. Only those three. You don't have to know the secret one. I mean, supposedly you have to know the secret one, the cosecant one, and the... Uh, I've never heard of secant, cosecant, or cotangent ones being on there, but those will be on there. Okay, this one. All right. What do you think U is? The stuff in the square root on the bottom. 1 minus 4x squared. Because what is the first derivative of this? Negative 8x dx. There's an 8x. We have to put a negative in front of that, which puts me a negative out in front to counteract that. So you got negative the integral from 0 to 1 fourth of 1 over u to the 1 half du, or du over it, but we'll put it like that, which is the integral, negative the integral from 0 to 1 fourth of u to the negative 1 half du. How do you integrate u to the negative 1 half? Well, you go up by 1, so it becomes u to the 1 half with a what in front? A 2 in front, and you have a negative from the negative out front, and you have 0 to 1 fourth. So, you have negative 2 square root of 1 minus 4x squared from 0 to 1 fourth. So if you keep working on that, negative 2, the square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 16th minus negative 2, square root of 1 minus 4 times 0. So 4 times 0 is 0. This is 1. This So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 1 16th times 4 is 1 fourth. 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. So it's the square root of 3 fourths times negative 2. Well, what's the square root of 3 fourths? 
square root of 3 over 2 with a negative 2 in front, so those cancel, minus a negative 2, which is plus a positive 2. So it's negative square root of 3 plus 2, or 2 plus a 2 minus the square root of 3. So, these are the inverse trig functions you're, you're supposed to know. Know those especially. Okay, those are all the tr inverse trig functions. I would let you put them on a note card right now. So, you know that valuable note card that you have somewhere? Let's put these things on our note card. They are? Okay, okay. Wait, where's the one on the top? Instead of the U. Um, well, that's if it's to the one X. So if you have, it, it's going to be a U. So B U over, over square one, minus one minus U squared. Yeah, so yeah, same thing. So looking at this one, which would match the best with this up here? Tangent. It would be tangent. So negative one-third here, one-third here, one over one plus what is our U? It's going to be 3x is there. Okay. So 3x is there. Uh, so if u equals 3x, what's du? Three dx. So if I have a three dx that I have to put on to here, then I have to multiply the outside by one third. Okay. Now we're going to integrate. So it's one third. Yeah. One third, the integral of this, where this is u, so it's the inverse tangent of 3x, because that's u, inverse tangent of u, plus c. Well, not plus c, because this is a definite integral. So it goes from negative one third to one third. So let's stick the negative one, or let's stick the one third in first. So it's one third, the inverse tangent of one minus one third, the inverse tangent of negative one. <laughs> What's the inverse tangent of one? Where is the tangent one at? At what, where on the unit circle is the tangent one? 45 degrees or pi over 4. So it's 1 third of pi over 4 minus 1 third. Where is the tangent negative 1 at? Negative pi over 4. Because you have to use quadrants 1 or 4. So minus a negative is plus a positive. So it's pi over 12 minus a negative pi over 12, which is plus a positive. So it's 2 pi over 12, or pi over 6. Pi over 6 is the final answer here. Okay, last one. All right, the ln of x squared over x. So u equals the ln of x. What's du? What's the first derivative of the ln of x? 1 over x dx. So this is the integral from 1 to e of u squared du. Because 1 over x times dx. So what's the integral of u squared? What's the integral of u squared? 1 third u cubed from 1 to e. So it's 1 third the ln of x 
cubed from e to 1. So it's one-third the ln of e cubed minus one-third the ln of 1 cubed. Well, what's the ln of e? 1, because they, they are um, reciprocal functions, basically. So 1 cubed is 1 times 1 third is 1 third. The ln of 1 is just the ln of 1. So it's minus 1 third ln of 1 cubed. I think, I don't know if they wanted, hmm, what did they want for this one? They wanted a decimal or what? Oh, what's the ln of 1? Zero. Zero. Sorry. So it's just 1 third. Yeah. I was thinking and not thinking. So I will put this out to you. You work on this. After lunch, we'll have one more. And then next time, I think, or do you want just this today? And next time, we'll do one more and then a quiz. And then Friday, we'll start reviewing for next week's tests. Okay, let's do that then. Today is just this. So I will sign things out on Khan Academy. I, in a little bit, I got to get things assigned out.